To use the English for 11 plus program, you double click on the icon on your screen. Then the screen comes up with a login screen where you would enter your username and password and then click the enter button. I'm going to enter my username, which is be smart. I have no password, so I will just then click enter. Then you see this section because the program then is going to go into my account and pull up the information on me, all the history, what questions have I answered, what scores I got. We then go to the main options and from there you can practice questions, practice a sample test, view progress charts, you can look at special features in the program, you can ask for help on how to use the program or you can exit. So now let's go practice questions. When you click practice questions, you will see all the English topics that are available for you to practice, like homonyms and voice and grammar, prefixes, etc. Let's do parts of speech for now. So when I click on parts of speech, the program will then select 10 questions at random. Let's look at the question screen. Up here, we show the question text, and then you will see the instructions for the question. And then there are four possible choice, choices for answers. If you look in the corner, it tells you the time that you're spending to work on the question. You can click on buzz here to get a hint. And there are stars that mark the progress you're making in a topic. And those stars go from 60% up to 100%. So as you get 60%, you start to light up a star. Um, and when you get 100%, you start to light up that star as well. Then we have the previous and next question buttons on the bottom, which let you scroll through the questions. Correct questions let you correct them. And then we have an electronic scratch pad. I'll open that. We don't really use it much in English, but I'll just open it so you can see. I'm going to try and write the word scratch here. Let's see how well that goes. And I will tell you that the students are a lot better at that than I am. So um, you can save it. When you close it, it saves out the information and you can always clear it out by clicking on the trash can. Okay, so let's start answering the question. So the first question is, what is the part of speech of the underlying word? And I'm going to select D for verb. We will go through quickly just so that you can see how you answer the questions. The correct questions button only becomes enabled um, once you have gotten to the 10th question, right? So the program selects 10 questions. When you get to question 10, you'll be able to. Here you can see where I click on a hint so that you can um, we can get a hint on how to answer the question, right? So this gives me the rules for all the various parts of speech, and then I can select an answer. Right. So next question, let's go through um, all the way. We'll select, um, let's just select, I think this is actually an adjective. All right, click next question, and we will try and answer as best as we can. And then let's go on number seven. You will see the correct questions is still grayed out. What is the correct preposition? We'll select one from here. And I think I'm going to try and get that one wrong. Or should I? No, let's do that one. All right. And then this one, we'll get that one. We'll put that one wrong. Okay. Next question. All right. So now you see we have correct questions enabled because I'm on question 10. So I put in the answer. And then I'll click correct questions. And we'll get our score. So then a report comes up and it tells me, oh, I've gotten 90%. I've done an awesome job. Right? I can print that report or I can close it to go back and look and see how I did on that, on those actual 10 questions that I answered. Notice the report also tells me that I used one hint and it shows the time I took. So when we go back, I'm going to show you what is we what we consider to be the superpower of our program. Okay, The program provides the explanation. So it's not just what is the correct answer, but we explain why that is the correct answer. Okay, And as you go through each question, you will see that there's an explanation. You will see I have a green tick that tells me I got it correct. You will see shaded is the question, the answer that I put in. And then um, here you see I got this question wrong. And this is what the correct answer is, this underline. And there's an explanation as to why that is the correct answer. So from here, we can close. Before we do that, I want you to see, look at the stars. You see, because I got 90%, the first four stars have started to become lit up, right? So the star 60 through 90, a piece of that star has become lit up. Okay, so let's close. And um, from here, I can either practice another set of questions on the same topic or a different topic, or I can click main menu to exit, and then I can click exit here to come out of the program completely.